guys, my name is Miss Jordan from the Elm Team and today I am going to read you this book called Rosa's Big Boat Experiment by Jessica Spaniold. And here we have the front of the book and if you flip it we have the back of the book and here is where we find the spine of the book. So if we look again at the title we have Rosa's Big boat experiment. I wonder what it's going to be about. Does anyone know what an experiment is? It is whenever you ask a question and then you do something to figure out what the answer is. So let's see what her question is with this big boat. Rosa and her friends are getting ready to build some boats. How many cups will it take to fill our tray? Asked Sadiq. The boats will need to float, says Jamil. What about this log? Asked Lottie. That's much too big, replies Jamil. It will sink. What do you think? Will the big log sink or float. <clears throat> Let's see. Amazing, says Jamil. It does float. The wood floats because it's less dense than the water, explains Rosa. Everything is made of molecules, says Lottie. They are very, very tiny. The closer the molecules are packed together, the denser the object. Let's see, predicts Jamil. This ping pong ball should float because it is less dense than water. Plop! This marble is the same size as the ping pong ball, says Sadiq. Why doesn't it float too? Yap, yap, plop! See, the ping pong ball is floating on top of the water, but the marble is sinking. Some small things sink, like the key and the coin, and some big things float, like the beach ball and the water jug, explains Rosa. Things filled with air will float because air is less dense than water, says Rosa. Lottie is experimenting. If you put something heavy in the water, the water level rises, she notes. That's called dis Placement, says Shamil. Can you say displacement? It's a pretty big word. They go outdoors. Out here, there's lots more water, says Rosa. We can watch things while they, we can test which things will make the best boats. Can I go first, asked Sadiq. Oh no, my sponge has absorbed the water. Look, you see it down there? It's too heavy and it's sunk. What can I use now? Woof woof, says the dog. Do boats fill up with water when it rains? Asked Lottie. Mine's sinking. We could have a boat race, says Rosa. Which shape of boat do you think will go fastest? Asked Jamil. A pointed shape at the front cuts easily through the water, says Rosa. Wee. I'm going to add a sail, says Rosa. The wind will blow into the sail and make the boat go faster. I'm making a sail too, exclaims Sadiq. My boat's going to be the fastest. I've made the hole pointed at the front, says Lottie. All our boats float really well, says Rosa. Now we'll know what to use next time. Whose boat will be first past the line? Asked Sadiq. I hope it will be mine. Woof woof. The end. Thanks for listening to my story today. Have a great day.